Good morning, everyone. Welcome back after that lovely weekend. It is Monday, May 2nd. Sorry, I'm also listening to what's happening in the hallway. Uh, we have a lot of stuff happening this week. It's Catholic Education Week, as you could tell from the banner uh, before the show started. And it's Mental Health Awareness Week. And this uh, Thursday is Red Dress uh, Day about the um, murdered and missing Indigenous uh, women and girls. So lots of content to cover. And I want to start with a video. Uh, this is to do with Mental Health Awareness Week. And it's about the difference between empathy and sympathy. So what is empathy? And why is it very different than sympathy? Empathy fuels connection. Sympathy drives disconnection. Empathy, it's a, it, very interesting. Teresa Wiseman is a nursing scholar who studied professions, very diverse professions where empathy is relevant and came up with four qualities of empathy. Perspective taking, the ability to take the perspective of another person or, or recognize their perspective as their truth. Staying out of judgment, not easy when you enjoy it as much as most of us do. <laughs> Recognizing emotion in other people and then communicating that. Empathy is feeling with people. And to me, I always think of empathy as this kind of sacred space when someone's kind of in a deep hole and they shout out from the bottom and they say, I'm stuck, it's dark, I'm overwhelmed. And then we look and we say, hey, I'm down. I know what it's like down here. And you're not alone. Sympathy is, ooh, <laughs> it's bad, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, no, you want a sandwich? <laughs> um, empathy is a choice and it's a vulnerable choice because in order to connect with you, I have to connect with something in myself that knows that feeling. Rarely, if ever, does an empathic response begin with at least. I had a, yeah. And we do it all the time because you know what? Someone just shared something with us that's incredibly painful and we're trying to silver lining it. I don't think that's a verb, but I'm using it as one. We're trying to put the silver lining around it. So. John's getting kicked out of school. At least Sarah is an A student. But one of the things we do sometimes in the face of very difficult conversations is we try to make things better. If I share something with you that's very difficult, I'd rather you say, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just so glad you told me. Because the truth is, rarely can a response make something better. What makes something better is connection. I love that video. Uh, so that is the difference between empathy and sympathy as we start Mental Health Awareness Week. It's also Catholic Edu Education Week. But let's quickly go through announcements. I have less time to go through them. To the Cast of Assumptions Greatest Show, please remember there is a mandatory meeting today on your lunch. Please see MS Teams for all details. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but congratulations to the senior mock trial team on their first place finish uh, last week. Thanks to the junior team for helping out during the day. The senior team will now move on to Halton Championships on May 20th. Well done. Anyone interested in some part-time work cutting grass, tidying gardens, raking for family in the neighborhood, please uh, come by the main office for more information. Anyone interested in playing senior or junior tennis this year, please sign up outside of the facet office on the athletic board, print a permission form from the school website and submit on the first tryout, which is likely going to take place on where's my uh, Wednesday, I believe. There we go. That's that one. Okay. And we have, um, I didn't uh, include this, but let me read it. Congratulations to the varsity team, a varsity lacrosse team on a great start to league play. Despite losing game one to BR, this happened last Wednesday. Despite losing game one to BR in the final 10 seconds, they had an impressive nine to win, nine to one win over STA in game two. Goals scored by, and I apologize, Ben Dietrich, Brody McKinnon, Cole McCauley, Oliver Keogh, and Liam Cole. Strong goaltending from Nolan Harrington and Danica Swiston. Next series, takes place this Wednesday at Notre Dame. And congratulations to our Model UN team for participating at the annual SOMA Model UN Conference over the weekend. Our delegates, delegates spent two days collaborating with students from across the country on important global issues. And a special congrats goes out to two of our students, Thomas Antunes, 
won, sorry if I didn't say it right, uh, won the best delegate award for his work with Kazakhstan in the General Assembly and Nabiha Bari, one outstanding delegate for her work with Iraq on the in the Security Council. Great job to all of our honorable delegates. Go Blue, go. And I just heard the, um, the bell. So it is time for our anthem. So everyone, please stand for our national anthem. And uh, sorry, I'm just trying to see which one do I play. Oh, uh, this one, our tribute to nature. So please stand for our national anthem. Let us remain standing and reverent for our land acknowledgement. As we begin our new week of living and learning and growing together, we do so on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, Atawadaran, Haudenosaunee, and Métis peoples, with whom our Catholic social teachings call us to solidarity. We honor the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this traditional territory and call to mind our own responsibilities to be good stewards of God's creation and to be in relationship with our Indigenous neighbors. And as I mentioned, it is Catholic Education Week, so we have special prayers for the week. And there are five sub-themes and one for each day. Today's theme is Rediscover. So after, you know, two years of what we've been through, we are rediscovering what it means to be in community, what it means to live uh, with gospel values, to be people of faith, to be people of different faiths living and working together. So we pray and let us pray for peace as well for uh, our world, for peace in our homes. And join me, where's the chapel? Join me in the chapel for this. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. God of all people, you bless us with the gift of community where we find your love in each other. Bless all of the communities in which we live and move and help us to rediscover how to bring your love to all we meet and make the world a more just place. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, your son and our brother. Our Lady of the Assumption, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, lovely people. Uh, that is uh, all the other announcements. If you, if I said it too fast and you want to review them, they're on the TV at the main office. They're on Instagram. They're on our website. Stay tuned for this week's uh, edition of the Crusader Chaplain Chatter. And because Journeying with Jesus, um, you can't see, but I'm 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 wearing the the shirt. It used to be the Walk with Jesus. They've renamed it Journeying with Jesus would normally take place on Thursday and it is taking place on Thursday. We are adapting it here. I will, I would like to invite those of you on your lunch who you'd like, uh, you know, if you can to join me for a lap or two around the track. So on your third lunch and on the fourth lunch, uh, let's walk the track and walk together and Eid Mubarak to all our Muslim uh, friends and neighbors. They are breaking their Ramadan fast and Eid is a big feast. So happy feasting to you and blessings on all of us. Have a lovely day, everyone. Happy Monday, and we'll see you around the halls or see you tomorrow.
Take care, everyone. <laughs>